Hello guys, it's time for another box opening video and today we have the Yumi Digi S5 Pro smartphone which is the UK version so let's see typical Yumi Digi box if you remember the Yumi Digi Power 3 it's pretty much the same box so let's take a look this one is sealed Thanks, yeah. And then some giveaways advertised and a thank you card. Same case as in the other one. Wow, this one is heavy. Let's see, link to the world. Yeah, the box content is basically the same. So you have the power brick, the USB Type-C cable, and this little USB Type-C to USB Type-C, which you can use if you want to reverse charge another phone. Oh no, actually, no, that's different. That's USB Type-C to 3.5 millimeter jack. It's good to have this in the box. However, no headphones. And that's supposed to be a premium device. So, no headphones, not a very good start. That's the charging brick. The output is 2 amperes, so it's going to be relatively fast charging this device. But yeah, that's it. Not much in the box. Do you at least have a pin? Yes, good. And we have some info here. But, yeah. Come on, guys. Okay, so this one comes with a uh, 6.39 inches Full HD AMOLED Ultra Full View Display Helio Gaming Processor with PC Grade Liquid Cooling System, that's cool 6GB of RAM, 256GB of storage Big battery, good camera and stock Android 10 Yeah, exactly the same case as in the Yumi Digi Power 3. Nano camera. As you can see here, I'm just reading what's on it, guys. So you have the microphone on the back. 5 megapixel nano... Uh, is that a micro camera or a nano camera, they call it? I think it should be micro. Flashlight, 16 megapixel wide angle. 48 megapixel main. And the other one there and the self camera is actually popping out so that's cool let's take this off by the way if this video makes 100 likes i'm going to switch to this phone for a week and i'm going to use it for a full week as my main device look at the back of this thing looks cool so let's not leave any fingerprints and let's just put it back in the sleeve It does come with a pre-installed screen protector, which is good. So let's switch it on. Controls are on this side, on the left side, on the right side of the phone. Power on, power off button and the volume controls. Looks good, I like it. And you can see there is nothing on the screen on the display on the screen just tiny little bits there okay hi there english united states well i thought it was the uk version but anyway connect to mobile network skip skip we're going to do these things after the battery level is 91 percent yeah let's use this date share everything yeah Pin, oh, okay. One, two, three, four sounds safe enough. Let's check how fast it's going to set the fingerprint. Down, up, down, up. Yeah, do it later. We're going to do this in the review videos which are going to fall. So we can enable wireless update, of course we have read and consent 
to their privacy policy and terms of use. Well, do you know what, guys? This phone looks good. I like the covers. Do you know what? Let's try the camera. Okay. Low camera to access. Yeah. Why not? Are you ready for this? Now look here. Okay, that's uh, not the fastest one. And if you push it back, it should go back automatically. But it doesn't. Oh no, it does. Okay, but it takes like a lot of pressure. So let's do it again. Um, not the fastest one, but it's pretty cool. And listen to this sound it makes. That's the little motor opening and closing it so far guys this thing is looking quite good let's dig into the settings section of it we have the flashlight here on the quick access we can change the team to a dark team battery saver calculator screen recorder straight on there nice okay about phone Super zoom. Oh, wow. There are loads of options on this device. 6 GB of RAM, as mentioned before. Yeah, it comes with Android 10. There you go. Well, I like it. <laughs> I'm quite excited to try this thing and play with it about, uh, like... For a couple of days and if you make this video to 100 likes i'm going to switch to this phone as my main driver for a week or maybe even from for more i'll switch from my note 10 so i'll be able to tell you if it's good enough or no to replace a note device probably not but at least you know somewhere close because the price difference between these two is quite serious Link is going to be in the description as usual, so you can check the current listing and see the price and all the hardware information. Apart from badly applied you know, initial protector and the lack of headphones or even earplugs in the box, I'm quite happy with it. First impressions, good. So let's see what's next. If you want any requests for tests and um, any comments, just put them in the comment section and I'll be more than happy to read them. And I hope to see you in the next video, guys. Bye-bye.